Hi, this is Sean Sullivan from Technique Peak, and today I wanted to go over a, a lateral hip distraction for improving pain or mobility within the hip joint. This is great for someone if you are suspecting intraarticular hip pain, such as a labral tear or arthritis, um, for providing pain relief. Uh, and you can also use it as a good way to help a patient gain extra rotation or uh, hip flexion range of motion if they're stiff in that position. And the idea is that we are positioning the hip in a position where it's tight, and uh, we're using the belt to provide a lateral distraction in that position to give a stretch to the capsule and to reduce pain associated with that position. Um, so we have our patient positioned flat on the table supine. Uh, we're gonna use a belt to stabilize his pelvis. That way, as we're pulling laterally, we're minimizing the potential for the pelvis to rotate or his trunk to shift while we're providing the stretch. Um, again, we're gonna position this uh, belt just inferior to his ASIS, so it keeps him in a slight posterior pelvic tilt on the table, and that position also uh, makes the belt less uncomfortable as long as it's not in the bony prominent system. Um, so he's positioned there. We're gonna use a second belt to assist with our pull. Um, so we're gonna first have him arm bend his leg up and we're gonna use a towel around his uh, proximal femur so that it's more comfortable for him and that the belt isn't gonna cut in on his tissue directly. And then I'm gonna use a belt here. And I'm gonna to explain to Marvin that for this stretch to be effective, I need it as close to the joint line as possible, which means it's gonna be pretty far up his thigh. So I just wanna make sure that he's comfortable with that. Uh, and you know, if you think it would help, you can have the patient help position this for you. Uh, I'm going to use the towel to help provide a little bit of comfort. So I just take a towel, fold it in half, and then I wrap it around the belt and we slide it up as close as it can get in there. Is that comfortable for you, Marvin? Yeah. Great. Uh, we want the line of the belt to be in line. So you should see that it's pretty even as I'm pulling. You don't want it too low because that'll affect the angle and it might affect the way the belt is laying against his skin and cause more pressure, you want it to try to be flush. So that line of pull should be perpendicular to his thigh. Uh, if it's too high also, you're gonna start to pull the other way and it'll slide up the leg. So you wanna make sure that it's in line there. Um, the easiest way to do this stretch, especially if uh, you're doing it more for pain relief and the person has a heavy leg, you can actually let them rest their foot here. You keep one hand on the pelvis just to help stabilize and to feel for movement. And you just guide uh, their distal femur with your hand so that you're not pulling them out to the side. Uh, you're not counter forcing. We're not trying to torque the hip out of the joint. We're trying to have the whole femur move in line laterally away from your body. So this hand is stabilizing the pelvis. This hand is guiding the femur so that it should move out with my pull. And then we want the belt to be in line. So we have to do a little bit of a scoop motion with our pelvis so that we get that pull in line and we're not just pulling out where his leg is gonna come and it's gonna slide out. So again, make sure everything is positioned well, stabilize pelvis, stabilize uh, distal femur with your hand, little scoop to get the pull right, and then we're gonna rock out to the side. And we should feel a little bit of a stretch there. I hold five to 10 seconds and then let it come back. With any joint mobilization, uh, after you finish the stretch and you release, you should feel a return of the motion back to normal. And that tells you that you were in the end range of the joint. Uh, if you release your stretch and there's no change, then you weren't far enough into the motion. So little scoop, we take up the slack. From here, we start to pull. I'm guiding with this hand, but not counter forcing it. That we feel for the return of the joint back. And that tells us we got our stretch.